Tammy Webster. I'm here with Lindsay Sears, and she's the winner tonight of the Barrel Racing in Round 8. And Lindsay, congratulations, and it's also Canada Night, so. Yeah, I'm super excited to be, you know, to get a go-round win on Canadian Night is a huge deal. And, you know, being the only Canadian here this week, it was a little added pressure for me tonight. So, <laughs> yeah, my family kept pointing out the South Point to me all week. You know, they're like, that's where we need to go for supper. So I'm taking them to the South Point tonight well, for supper. Well, you could just say you were purposely waiting for this night. Exactly. So you could make it special, and then you have two more rounds to get two more buckles. Exactly. <laughs> it, it was to treat uh, strategically planned like that for sure. No, you know, I just got lucky. Basically, I've had a little, you know, tough luck this week getting around some barrels, and you know, my horse has worked great. She's clocked great all week, and you know, you try not to get frustrated, but you just got to wait it out, and things will work together. Fine. You know, they finally fit together tonight the way they needed to, and it was a good night. Oh, I heard you mention something about the ground being a little bit wet, or just the rain from maybe helping a little bit so how does that affect your horse you know it, it helps the ground had a little more hold to it and so I could actually get out of the barrels clean it's had a little movement through you know throughout the week the grounds had a little movement to it. it's good ground it's not dangerous ground but it, it's a little it has a little bit of movement so if you're real tight leaving a barrel you'll you'll catch it or if you're tight going in you'll catch it it's just like your horse has been able to move you know when they go to push off they kind of move into the barrels so you got to give yourself a little extra room and tonight the ground had a lot more hold to it and, and Martha liked that you know with the more moisture in the air the less the ground dries out throughout the day and, and it worked out good. Now the run tonight was there a point when you just felt like you know it was going just right? You know I had no idea I felt like you know it's hard to tell you don't know <laughs> you know she turned a great three barrels and I had I didn't think I had a chance on the bottom of the ground to be honest with you I was just hoping for a check so for her to clock you know any kind of any kind of time that wins a check I was excited but in first is first is surprising. Well, great. Now who are you going to have up with you tonight on the stage? You know I'll probably take my family down there. No one wants to go out on stage with me. They leave me out there to dry by myself but uh, you know we'll see if anyone will go out with me but you know it's just they all they're all in the crowd. My family's all here and we have a great huge group of people that come here with us every week and or I, I should say every night and so I'm finally finally excited I can take them to the South Point. Well, you're talking about the family all pointing out there and going to go eat. You can just say, well, you come up and get your meal ticket on stage. <laughs> <laughs> you have to tell you them they're not the eating stage. until I get, until they get on the stage. Right. Yeah, I got to make some rules. <laughs> yeah, they'll be eating dinner, watching it on television, and I'll be on stage by myself. But yeah, you know, I've had a great, great support system all week, and I've had a lot of people here working hard for me all week so that I can go do what I need to do during the day for my sponsors. And I've just, you know, I can't thank them enough. They work hard. Well, congratulations again, and you got two more rounds, so we may see you back in here. Well, let's hope so. Have a good night tonight and have a great meal. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.